Hi, this is Kelly from Play, Learn, Talk. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can access Flow Magic in your next Boom card creation. So, in order to access Flow Magic, you need to be in your Boom Learning Workstation as we are now. And you're going to go up to the top blue bar that you see right here and select Details. Once you select Details, come down to the bottom where it says Flow Magic and you're going to click that box. We have a pop-up that is notifying us that our cards are now our responsibility to link the navigation for. There is going to be no way for your students or your user students to go forward or back or anywhere off the page that they're on if you do not code the navigation buttons might sound a little intimidating, but it's super, super easy. So to save time in this video, I've gone ahead and typed out a couple different options that you might want for your buttons, all right? So we have a start button, we have a back, a home, a next, and an exit button. I wanna point out that your buttons can be text boxes like this. They could actually be buttons or they could be images. All right, so it's really up to you for this tutorial. We're simply gonna use a text box. So for the start button, now that we have our deck set to flow magic, when we select that text box, you see that we've selected it because it is highlighted in blue. On the top right corner, we now have access to this link to button. So when we click on it, it is linking the blue button down here. Okay, so we have the option to link previous, next, terminate play, which would be like an exit or game over button, or no link. We'll talk about that maybe in another video when it comes to conditional linking, but not in today's video. All right, so we have a start button. So we don't know, like, how are we going to link this button? Well, what is a start button? It really is a next button. We want to go to the next page. So don't let that trick you. So we're going to link to next card. Now, another option, instead of linking to next, you can actually click on the button again and do link to the actual page you want it to go to. Okay, so maybe this next page is actually an instructions page. So if that were the case, you would not want your start button to link to next, but you'd want it to jump over until, you know, until this page, right? Does that make sense? Okay, so let's clearly label this here. We'll pull out some text. And this is our instructions page. All right. Now, since we have this instructions page, let's go ahead and actually make an instructions area. So we're going to duplicate this button. And let's go ahead and put instructions over here. Instructions. We're going to stretch out that text box. And you'll notice that it is linked to the same thing that this one is linked to. And that's because we duplicated it. So now we need to link to our instructions page. Now on our instructions page, we want to have a back button and a start button. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that start button, command C, come over to this page, command B, and this is actually going to keep the same link to the actual start page, which is perfect. Now we want to grab a back button, command C, come to this page, and command V. Now the back button is not linked yet. We're going to come over and link to previous card. All right. So now let's go to our official start page. We want to link this back button. We know it's not linked because nothing is here. Link to previous. We're going to link our next button to the next card. And we want to link our home button. So we need to go back to the home page, what we're designating as the home page. Now our very last thing that we need to do is actually create an exit button. So link to terminate play. Now I could go ahead and link these buttons again, but to save myself time, I'm going to delete them and I'm going to come over to this page that had them in the exact same position, command C, command V, and they're there. So let's go ahead and try out our whole navigation system in preview mode. We want to see if our instructions work. We are now on the instructions page. Let's go back. Let's go to the start button and let's go back to home. We can check our instructions again. Start takes us to this page. Back is going to take us back to this page. Oh, so this is a perfect thing right here. So let's look at this page. So when we were on this button or this page, back took us to the instructions page. However, you have to decide do you want back to go to instructions or to the home page? It's up to you. 
Okay, so, okay, let's go ahead and preview again. And we'll go next. Back and home are gonna be the same thing because we copied them and exit is going to terminate play. Got it? All right, leave a comment below and let me know if this was helpful for you.